When I look in the mirror in the morning, <laughs> a wrinkly old face. <laughs> I suppose, in truth, I don't like looking in the mirror much, because I do see an old man. I see an older me with the younger me still there. I still see the, the wild child that I was. It's a fact of life growing old. And these days we're living longer than ever before. Yet in our youth obsessed society, we rarely hear from our older generation. So we surveyed the over 65s around the UK to find out their thoughts, their concerns, and what it's really like to be growing old in Britain. And this is what they had to say. Our exclusive survey found that a third of over 65s suffer from loneliness. A fifth feel undervalued by society and half worry about getting ill as they get older. Oh, age hurts. I'm worried about becoming more disabled. I've always been very active. Really being blunt and saying there's something that really terrifies me is not beginning to wipe my bottom. I think um, they're undervalued, um, perhaps seen as a burden in some instances that older people are using services and free bus passes and uh, wasting money in the health service. There are more than 11 million people over the age of 65 in the UK and half a million of them are over the age of 90, a figure which has gone up by 75% in the last decade. Hilda Hainsworth, born on the 19th of December 1911. And while a centenarian's birthday party is always something to celebrate, the problem of who pays for our ageing population is one we can't ignore. The Minister of State for Care and Support, Norman Lamb, confirmed that the retirement age will have to keep being pushed back as a consequence. Of course, it's great that we are all living longer, but that comes with a huge economic burden in terms of pensions, the NHS. What are the government doing going forward to cope with that? Are we all going to be working till we're 70 or 80? Well, I think we've already seen an extension of the retirement age, and that's an unfortunate uh, consequence of this. People are probably living, you know, uh, 10 or 15 years more in retirement. Now, the cost of that to the state in terms of pensions is enormous. So there is, in a sense, an inevitability that we'll have to work a bit longer. One real positive, though, was that 68% felt Britain is a good place to grow old in. We can get such good medical treatment and we don't need to be well off for that. I'm, I'm happy to be in Britain and getting older. For a start, I've got free travel, which is a wonderful thing. I have nothing to say about it except good things. The good news for our older generation is that the more of them there are, and within 50 years they'll make up a third of the overall population, the more political sway they'll have, because they're the ones who bother to go out and vote. I think their power is enormous, uh, and rightly so, and the political parties have to respond to that. Ultimately, growing old in Britain means something different for everyone. But as the over 65s continue to become a bigger and more important part of our demographic, we're going to have to sit up and take notice. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.